The Valley's getting some credit for the experimental treatment, which is actually saving lives. ABC 15, Sarah Goldenberg joining us. And Sarah, who knew ASU played a big role in this? Well, the research of two ASU professors has suddenly been thrown into the spotlight. It turns out their use of tobacco plants to fight viruses paved the way for the creation of this vaccine. These tobacco plants could be the key to fighting deadly viruses like Ebola. And ASU researchers are leading the way in their lab at the Biodesign Institute. We use plants, the cells, as a faculty to produce those therapeutics, antibodies. In this particular case, it's Professors Shang Chen and Charles Arntzen use that knowledge to guide two companies in developing a vaccine against the Ebola virus. So we can actually have the capability, like in this particular case, make a lot of protein, a lot of drugs very quickly in response to the outbreak of some unpredictable disease. The fight against viruses all starts in this incubator, then moves to the tobacco plant. And we're going to dip the plants into the bacteria culture. That procedure is now being used to make ZMAP, the experimental treatment possibly saving the two patients recovering right now in the U.S. It hadn't even been tested on humans until now, and scientists at ASU are watching, waiting to see if this could be a breakthrough. Truly very exciting, and this is really, really a tremendous news. Now, the scientists we spoke with today were quick to point out that the Ebola virus was never actually at the ASU campus. Researchers there are also working on vaccines for other viruses like West Nile. Back to you.